There seems like there must be a big demand for bandwidth uh, for videos, all these big video files. Uh, how is the carriers responding to that? How is that all going to work out? And uh, what are the concerns, if there are, about bandwidth issues? Uh, yeah, you know, there's several ways they can do that. One is, of course, through 3G networks that are currently deployed, and that solves quite a lot of the problem that we've seen. The experience you get when you download something over the air with 3G compared to 2G, 2.5G is a huge step forward. And then you go to WiMAX and you know this is a big opportunity that uh, we, we are very excited about. And when you go to WiMAX the bandwidth uh, is, is another step improvement and it takes a matter of seconds to download a full song whereas with current 2G technologies it would take several minutes, right? So if when you are going to watch a movie and if you want to download that over the air through a carrier's network, if it's going to take you 10 minutes to sit there and wait for it to download, you're going to be less inclined to do that um, compared to if it's going to take you just two seconds to get that movie. Tell us about the opportunity to use mobile devices as social networking tools. How would that work, in your opinion? There's actually two aspects if you think about media and social. And now I'm talking specifically about video as the media um, for socialization. One is in your home environment. And then if you think about the mobile, and I'm watching this when I'm moving around and I have content that I'm watching a film, uh, whether I'm in a train or a bus or something, there's a group of people, not necessarily people that are my friends, but people that I'm meeting when I'm commuting in a train, for example, that I want to comment on about what they're watching, what game we're playing, what video we're watching. So there's socialization around a confined space, not necessarily with people that you have known or relationships that you've built in terms of friendship. So the mobile is conducive more for socialization around that too. A school bus actually is a perfect example of it. Kids often listen to music um, from the mobile or from an iPod when they're in a bus. So and they always want to share the songs with other kids in the bus. How do, how do they do that? How do, they, how do we enable wireless technology? technologies to have that kind of experience. So those are some things we're working on. Some of the applications we'll deploy uh, through carriers and some will be built into the device. At the conference and sort of at this point in time, what are some of the most exciting things that you see happening uh, in, in this media convergence that we talk about? Yeah, you know, I think what I'm really most excited about is the evolution of entertainment and content in the next five years. I think in the last five years we saw it uh, go from very passive consumption to uh, on demand, right? And what we'll see going forward, it's always on demand and that's where the mobile comes in. So it's not just on demand at fix select times and fix select locations, it's always on demand no matter where you are because the screen is going to be with you no matter where you are. That's what I'm most excited about.